What is up everybody, Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Listen, uh, we are going to do a quick guitar lesson uh, to Drake's In The Bible. It's a really dope song, really smooth vibe. Um, the chords, is only three chords, but the chords could be difficult, but I'm gonna break that down fret by fret for you guys and chord by chord. So let's just jump right into it. All right, it. so now that I have the guitar in my hand, we are going to focus specifically on Giveon's part. And Giveon's part is really, there's no difference from the rest of the song. It's just a little bit slower. So it kind of goes a little bit more with the vibe of, you know, really playing the guitar um, anyway. So uh, here we go. One, two, three, and. of the song really um obviously you know you're gonna be um you know with the actual beat of when Lil Durk is uh rapping and when Drake is rapping the you know it's a little bit faster but overall um that's the that's the gist of it so we're gonna break the first chord down, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I cannot remember for the life of me the name of this chord. I really think there's it's just the inversion of your D minor, um, but it starts up here. So what I'm gonna do, and like I said for you all for the beginners, this is a stretch. Um, you're gonna use your index finger, put it on the second fret. Uh, of the sixth string and bar it all the way down. Then you're gonna use your middle finger and put that on the uh, third fret of the second string. Then you're gonna use your ring finger to put that on the uh, fourth string, uh, fourth fret. Now here's, now this is where it kinda could get a little difficult. You're gonna use your pinky now and put that on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So you have this chord. So what I normally do for this uh, particular chord, it's more so just like a, um, you strum it twice along with the beat, but for me, especially with the slower part where Giveon is singing, I kind of individually pluck it, so. So let's go to the next so, chord. Coming from that last chord, then you go right into your G minor. This is a very easy chord, very great for beginners to start learning those bar chords. Um, what you're gonna do is use your index finger bar from the third uh, fret, sixth string, all the way down. You're gonna use your ring finger. Let me actually move the camera a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But uh, you're gonna use your ring finger, put that on the fifth fret of the fifth string. You're gonna use your pinky right behind it on the fifth fret, fourth string. And that's your... That is such a dope easy chord, especially when you guys get uh, comfortable with that chord shape. Um, now, what's really cool about that shape is uh, once you get used to it then and you start exploring a little bit more R&B chords, then you can kind of go into, this is the same chord, it's just the triad and the higher register. Uh, or I'm sorry. And then if you want to kind of make it more r and is So. But anyway, that's just, that's a whole totally different uh, 
guitar lesson. So anyway, we have that chord, that G minor. And really, so from there, you could kind of uh, skip. Once you learn that shape, you could bring it up a whole step. So that's skipping that uh, fourth fret and going right to that five fret, fifth fret, and uh, using those same that same chord shape. So. And then you go down a half step to that sixth fret. Using the same chord shape. And that is like a D7. Uh, and so how you do that is you're gonna use your index finger bar from that fifth string on the fifth fret on down. Then you're gonna use your uh, ring finger and put that on the seventh fret of the uh, fourth string. Then your pinky is gonna be on the second second string, uh, seventh fret. So you have this. And again, I'm, I have my hand like this because this is normally not how I play, but it's just so you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. Um, but, and that's really it. Once you learn that, you can kind of, it's really, you know, it, it does switch a little bit as far as like the in, the order of the chords, but they're all the same chords uh, throughout the whole song. So, um, progression is the same um well it's in the same uh it's the same root note so we go from that d7 to that like that inversion again back to that d it just gives a little bit more of an r&b feel um technically you could do that d like this but this just sounds better plus you're using that f sharp uh you're using that f sharp to really make it um what word am i looking for really have that deeper darker tone to it so um really the gist of the all the all the, the ah that's the gist of the whole song the progression and all um if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comments if i could uh better explain to you all what i'm doing um through the comment section ask away make sure you play this video you know as many times as you need to slow it down um so you could really get the gist of what I'm saying as well as the uh, chord shapes. Um, and also when you're learning, just be sure to um, take it slow. You have to take it slow. If you skip steps or in a rush too much, you're gonna, it's not gonna, uh, you're not gonna be able to retain what you do. You may actually be able to learn a song um, for that day, but then in a week or two, if you haven't played it again, you will forget. I've been there, done that. So just take it slow, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This is the only channel where you're going to be getting guitar lessons, uh, guitar covers, uh, reactions, unboxings, and so much more. Um, until next time. Oh, and those of you all who are uh, already subscribed, I really appreciate it. We are at 23, 2,388 subscribers. That is like ridiculous. 
Um, so I really appreciate you all. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so you know when I drop these videos. Till next time, peace.